Hi everybody, welcome back to theCUBE. This is Dave Vellante with Brian Gracely. We're here high, high above Beantown at 60 State Street, Boston, Massachusetts, overlooking Boston Harbor. Michelle McFadden is here. She's the AVP of Product Management and Marketing at, at BMC. Michelle, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, I'm so psyched to be here. Yeah, so big day for you guys. A local event, a couple hundred people here, you know, two, three hundred people. Yeah. A lot of buzz about what you guys are doing. What was the purpose of the event and what's it all about? We have so many changes going on in the industry that are reflected in all the software and all the great stuff we've been putting out and we really want to bring it to our customers where they are. We have such a great customer base here in Boston mm. and we really wanted to bring them our latest innovations. So your, your president, Bill Baruti, was talking about how he said something that you don't hear a lot of executives say. He said, hey, good news, EBITDA is down. We've taken <laughs> that money and put it into R&D and uh, spent over $120 million I spent investing. some of that. So yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> they carved out a big budget for yeah. you, at least a portion of it. Yeah. He talked about some of the, I asked Bill, what things are you doing specifically on your own digital transformation? And he talked about remedy, he talked about re-architecting, re, re I don't know if that's the right word, but making some investments in remedy. Yeah. So maybe as the product person, you could take us through specifically what was Near done. Near and dear to my heart. Great, give us the scoop. Yeah. Our customers rely on remedy to run their IT operations and their IT service management. But there's no reason why they shouldn't have a fantastic user experience, whether your IT workers on the front line, your business users who are requesting and looking for help, and your guys in the back room who are making sure everything runs. So we put a huge focus on user experience, not just about how it looks, but how the software behaves, making sure we have the absolute best experience for IT service management in the industry. So, so what did that entail? I mean, just so you see, yeah. it's not, it wasn't just a facelift. Yeah. You, weren't, you, you weren't putting lipstick on a pig, to yeah. use the term. It wasn't just UI, it was no. UX. A yeah, lot of people not confuse about, those They two do, things. and they think, oh, that just means you put some new logos in and put some new colors. That's the last thing that we do. It's really about spending time with real people who do these jobs every day having talented user experience designers and product managers and architects sitting and watching people do their jobs, whether they're on the service desk, they're business users, they're change managers, watching and understanding how they do the job and how we can transform their experience to make them more productive. It's all about productivity. Okay, so it really was a UX redesign, right? So, but using yeah. the same fundamental architecture or? At the same time, we're taking a bimodal approach as well, so at the same time, we've been evolving our platform into the latest technology, moving to Java. Remedy platform is an amazing platform running the biggest companies in the world, but we've evolved it to Java from C, and we're introducing new things. We've just introduced new things like REST-based API, easy upgrades, and very soon we'll be introducing new visual development capabilities with both drag and drop and new SDKs. Yeah, we're, we're, we're here, you know, we can sort of out, look out across the room. Lots of partners here. I'm, yes. I'm seeing things uh, like, like Hadoop and Big Data. You talk yeah. about APIs. What are the types of integrations your partners want to do with those platforms? Yeah, everything. <laughs> everything from getting data, pushing data, making the processes more productive so that we're opening up incidents uh, at the right time when something, when an event happens, for example. Okay. Uh, or being able to bring that data back and that rich data back to inform the decision making. So, I wonder if we could talk about some of the other things that, that you did with Remedy. So, yeah. back up a little bit. So, the Remedy, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was an on-prem platform exclusively. For many and, years, it's okay, been on-demand for quite a and while, then you, but yeah. You, then you, had, you went into on-demand, yeah. I don't know, years ago. Yeah. Uh, roughly how many years ago, we're talking. Yeah, it's before my time. Okay. Uh, so, you know, seven or eight years ago. Okay, yeah. so quite a long time yeah. ago. So, part of that investment was not sassifying Remedy, it was really, all around the UX, is that correct or no? Or no? We, we, we do it all. We focus on <coughs> making that platform multi-tenant, mm -hmm. shared service so that we can give a great service to our customers, but also be able to have a great operations department. Yeah. Uh, that's making it efficient, having the uptime, having self-service for our customers when they want to request services and are on demand. So no, a huge investment in on demand all along. Okay, so, so yeah. you brought up multi-tenant, so I'll ask the security question. Let's yeah. talk about security. As you go toward that SaaS model, yes. uh, and you've had some experience now with that, how, do you, how does the security model change? Yeah. What's the imperative there? Uh, you know, I think there is a, a happy medium that I think especially for IT organizations uh, where they can, we can spin up tenants or if they're a managed service provider, they can spin up tenants that have a separate table space mm -hmm. and separate data. So it's not about commingled data, but it is about having shared services for the infrastructure so that you're not having a separate infrastructure for every single customer. So that's a, that, that helps efficiency. Yeah, helps exactly. keep costs down. Yep. Okay, and, and then you mentioned Java, REST-based APIs. 
et cetera. Talk about what that means for the customer. Absolutely. It means that whether, because they're going to have a hybrid environment, they're going to have services that they want to connect to that are in the cloud, they're going to want some back in their own private data center. They now have, they don't have to make a choice. They can connect to everything securely uh, over industry standard APIs. Okay, so it's speed, integration. Speed, absolutely. You know, keeping keeping yeah. up with the bad guys on security. And in the end, it's all about improving that productivity and the automation. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay, we're out of time. So what's the one <laughs> last thing you want our audience to, to leave with you know, message around your products, remedy yeah. the portfolio? Yeah, I mean the digital revolution is here. You're part of it. And this is a great time to take a look at Remedy and all of our portfolio because we have incredible new capabilities around mobile, around social, around analytics that you're going to love. All right, Michelle, thanks very much for stopping by theCUBE. Good okay. to see you. Thank you, it was great, thank uh, you. Keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. It's theCUBE, special presentation, top of 60 State, State Street at BMC Day. We'll be right back. <laughs>